What's going on guys? Gonna head down to the woods on the electric bike. Uh, got the trailer mounted up and gonna take a couple salt blocks. Got a full 50 pounder and then half of a 50 pounder uh, strapped on to the bike trailer that I made. Put those two out before deer season coming up. So these would be the last two that I put out. Uh, make sure those are gone well before season comes in and also going to walk around a little bit today and check the woods there's been a lot of uh, new ehd reports unfortunately uh, that's just a shame to hear i hate hearing that but it's part of it i know my neighbors uh, to the north just a little bit they found i think seven or eight now just within the past two weeks and those were confirmed deaths by ehd by the dnr uh, he did have them come out and confirm that so I haven't had a chance, just been busy at work and busy with other things. Uh, haven't had a chance to check my properties yet. So today's gonna be my first time out checking that out and really hoping for the best. Hope I don't see any bad sign of uh, any EHD breakouts. For those of you that do follow me on Facebook on my Hoosier Hunter hunting page, I did post up a report by the Indiana DNR that we're pretty much on the verge of a breakout here in Indiana. So I uh, hate hearing that, but we'll get on the bike here, head down, put out a couple salt blocks, and then take a walk through the woods and keep fingers crossed and hope for the best.
finally had a pretty good rain about three hours ago today. Didn't rain real long, but it rained hard for a short time. This is a spot that I've used as a salt lick site for quite a few years. You can see pretty heavily abused. Got a little bit left on that one. And I'll put one more in here and be done with salt licks for the year. Curious if you guys have been finding any signs or report of EHD in your areas. If you are, just drop a comment down below. Just like to hear from others, kind of see what's going on out there. It's pretty concerning. Something that nobody wants to hear about that's a deer hunter. But it is part of it. If you are getting affected by it or have heard stories and reports, Go ahead and drop a comment down below. It kind of gives other people an idea of what's going on and we can just open it up for discussion down there. I don't have a whole lot of water on this property. Just a small creek that typically doesn't hold a lot of water. Uh, but the main spots you want to look are around ponds and lakes and bigger creeks. Uh, but I've been walking around for a while. I haven't found anything yet, so... That's good. Well, I made a pretty good lap through here and didn't find any sign of dead deer or any dead deer. No buzzards flying around, no carcasses, anything like that. So that is a plus. Uh, like I say, with not much water here, I was expecting and hoping not to find any because typically they'll go find, they'll go find some deep water to lay in to help cool them down. Man, it is just nasty humid out here. We had a pretty good rain about three hours ago and now it's just way too humid, way too hot. You guys have a good one. Give me an update down below on any possible EHD breakouts that you guys are seeing in your areas. Don't care what state it is, just uh, comment down below. You guys all have a good one. Happy hunting, be safe. See you guys next time.